Welcome back to Spork Syndicate. My name is Tom. For the October Four Horsemen build, the theme is Halloween, and the car is the Hot Wheels Chevy Nomad. I chose to recreate our family's Halloween costume, which means I have four customs to make. Let's have some fun. Most of what you'll see will focus on the Chevy Nomad, but the other three Hot Wheels castings, a Surf and Turf Wagon, an 8 Crate, and an 85 Honda City Turbo, will get a little screen time as well. I've drilled the posts on all four castings and fit them with two 56 self-tapping screws. Time to take them apart and get to work. Drop all four bodies into paint stripper, where I'll leave them for a few hours. Next up, I remove the plastic axles and wheels from the bases. I use my hobby flathead screwdriver to pry open the tabs and the axles fall right out. I then use my stubby flathead screwdriver to open the tabs a little further to make it easier when I put in new rubber tires and custom rims. With the paint stripped, I now use my Dremel and a steel wheel attachment to smooth out the body and remove any corrosion. It was a real assembly line operation, doing everything four times over. While I'm not too worried about the pock marks and imperfections on the surface because I'm using opaque paint, I do see a lot of casting lines that need to be removed. I start by filing those seams down, then off camera, sanding the areas to blend the surfaces where the casting lines have been erased. This is for customs, so not much fabrication. I did choose to smooth over the roof of the eight crate and hide the motor, which is in the back. I taped the large open roof over, then filled it with JB Weld. After grinding away the excess JB Weld, I was left with a very thin layer, so I reinforced it with JB Super Weld glue. And while I was dressing out one car with Hot Wheels real riders and the other two with Sam Ed wheels, the Honda City Turbo was getting some rubber tires I bought on Amazon, which had thicker axles. I didn't have brass rods that fit these axles, so I used the closest fit I had, a styrene plastic tube. They're a nice looking off-brand set with spoke wheels and red brake calipers, but they were solid state, which means the wheel and axle turn as one not the wheel spinning free. They're delicate, so I tap them into place with my stubby screwdriver. I hold off on gluing things together until I know everything fits. Back to the eight crate, I had a challenging time getting the windows to fit the new roof. I used my very sharp X-Acto saw to trim down the clear roof. which reminded me in a painful way to always cut away from your fingers 
and use something stable like a tabletop or bench-mounted vise. We're going with a two-tone paint scheme. Despite waiting 24 hours, applying clear coat, and waiting another 24 hours, some paint came off with the masking tape after I added the blue highlights. So I used that same pearlized red to do some patch painting. I detailed the Surf and Turf's blower intake with that same red. And I painted the clear surfboard white to stand out. The windshield and sunroof of the City Turbo get pink trim, representing our dog, Cha-Cha's, pink leash. Yeah, that car is her. The Surf and Turf is my son, Jackson. Thing one. The Nomad is my wife, Igmara. Thing 2. There's two columns of louvered vents in the hood, so getting this homemade decal to stick meant using some microset. And it all worked out on the first try. The Honda City Turbo is, as you know, cha-cha. Thing 4. And, by process of elimination, the 8 crate is me, Thing 3. And this is our Halloween costume, from Dr. Seuss's Cat in a Hat. We began with a family of castings, and made four things. Thanks to the Four Horsemen for the inspiration and the great idea for this build. Search Four Horsemen Diecast to see all the other builders who participated. There's some really cool stuff out there. For Igmara, Jackson, Cha Cha, and Spork Syndicate, this is Tom, and I can't wait to see you again real soon. Nice. Who does that? That's awesome. I love those people.